In this video, we're going to talk about the element of color. This is probably one of the most important of the elements uh, because it ends up being something that can really make a photograph or a piece of art look really good. It can also make a photograph or a piece of art look really bad. So we're going to spend a little bit extra time on color. So colors light reflected off or absorbed by an object. In the example you see here to the right, you have a white light shining down on a yellow object. That white light is producing all the wavelengths of light. All of those wavelengths hit the yellow object and only that wavelength of yellow is reflected back to your eye. So your eye sees yellow. In a, with a white object, you have all of those frequencies of light hitting the white object and all of them being returned to your eye, so your eye interprets that as white. With a black object, you end up having all of that light hitting the black object and it all ends up being absorbed. So you're actually seeing the lack of a reflection back to you. So before we talk about color schemes, we need to look at uh, how we organize colors a little bit. And one of the things that with the tools that we use for this is the color wheel. And this is a spectrum that's simply bent into a circle. By bending it into the circle, we can now start to look at different relationships between the colors. Some of the very basic relationships um, are primary, secondary, and intermediate colors. Primary colors, yellow, red, and blue, are the three colors that you mix together to make everything on the color wheel. But nothing can be mixed to make those three colors. That's why they're primary. So we can use those colors then to mix the rest of the color wheel. So the next level would be uh, secondary colors. These are orange, green, and violet, and they're simply made by mixing two primaries together. The third level of mixing would be intermediate colors, and these are colors that are made by mixing a primary and a secondary right beside it. So you get colors like yellow, orange, red, orange, so on and so forth. Um, we don't talk about mixing colors more than this usually. We can continue basically for infinity mixing two colors right beside each other, but there is a point when your eye starts not being able to distinguish the difference. So knowing how we get some of the colors, it's important to understand uh, grouping those colors together. So we use color schemes or groupings of colors that create moods, feelings, or help to unify a piece. All of the color schemes that we're going to talk about here um, also include tints, tones, and shades, so adding white and black, um, and also using new, uh, any of the neutral colors. So the first group of colors that we're going to talk about are neutrals. These are colors that go with any color scheme, so that includes white, it includes grays, and it includes black. Because white is all color, black is no color, um, those will work with every color. We can also throw browns in there as well because if you were mixing a brown with paint, you would end up mixing two primaries, uh, or th all the primaries, or two complements together. Um, so in essence, browns contain all of the colors. Those are physically mixed together. Uh, so in this photograph, I can show you an example of neutral colors uh, in the photograph. The first color scheme then we're going to talk about is monochromatic color. This is a color. Uh, in this case I chose red and then it's using its tints, tones, and shades. So a tint is adding white to the color, a shade is adding black to the color, and then a tone is adding gray. And When you look in this photograph you can see that uh, the close-up on the grass here, those uh, blades of grass are different variations of green from a dark green to a really light green. One thing to note here if you're trying to photograph um, monochromatic for your elements and principles shooting assignment, make sure that it is all of a, a single color. Uh, some grasses are tricky because they actually turn from green to like a yellowish and that's blending colors that's not actually monochromatic. The second color scheme we'll talk about, we're going to add two colors now or work with two colors. Uh, and these are any colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. So with the primary and secondary uh, complementary pairs, um, anything that's directly across that pair can be used as complements. These three primary 
pairs uh, are the most commonly used uh, because they create the most contrast. Um, the other colors end up uh, not being quite as contrasty, but they are, by all accounts, um, complementary colors. So here you can see our entire color wheel split into all of its complementary pairs. In this photograph, um, I'm going for the complementary pair of red and green. So majority of the photograph is red or green. Yeah, there's some other colors there, but the majority of it fits into that color scheme. So we count it that color scheme. The next one is analogous colors, and these are colors that are side by side on the color wheel. Usually we use three to five colors, and they all have a color in relation. So if I rip the color wheel apart here a little bit, um, I have colors that are right beside each other in the color wheel. They share a common color. So you have the yellow, yellow, green, and green. Um, they all have that yellow, green in uh, common with each other. So in this window, uh, this is actually the moon window from the National Cathedral in Washington. Uh, it is all analogous colors. It's the blues, the violets, and into red, violet, and red. Um, so they're all right beside each other on the color wheel. Warm colors are colors that give off a warm feeling or impression. A warm color scheme will have a majority of warm colors in it. It may have other colors with it as well. Uh, and that ends up being... Um, that half of the color wheel so any of those colors being mixed in uh, tends to give off that warm feel warm colors will always look like they're coming forward cool colors will look in the like they're in the background so something to keep in mind if you want to create some contrast with warm and cool colors together in this photograph we have uh, all warm colors so you have the yellows and the reds in there the browns are neutral so they don't count against the color scheme at all they actually are neutral so they fit right in a cool color scheme is a color scheme that gives off a cool feeling or a cool impression. Again, it'll have a majority of the cool colors in it, um, and that's the other half of the color wheel. So in this photograph, when you're looking at the hydrangea, it's all uh, blues and violets and green um, in the image.